Do you really understand NLP? By the end of this video, no matter what your understanding of neurolinguistic programming is, I can assure you it's going to be a lot better. Keep watching. This is Life Mastery Gym. I'm Damon Cart, and I teach people just like you cutting edge NLP processes and techniques so that you can master your life and take charge of your destiny. So if that sounds good, make sure you click subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can get these videos on a regular basis. Maybe you've read an NLP book or maybe you've even done an NLP training. But if you had to explain what neurolinguistic programming is to someone else who's never heard of it, how well can you do that? Most people can't do it very well. By the end of this video though, you will have a very solid and basic understanding of NLP well enough that you can explain it to someone else. And that's really the marker to truly know that you get NLP. What I've learned over the years, that everything that you need to understand about NLP to be truly effective with it, is found in the basics. A lot of people try to jump to the newer technology and new advancements or advanced trainings, but if you don't have the basics down, none of that other stuff really will do much for you. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video because at the end I'm going to show you a way that you can take your NLP understandings even deeper with some free training. I've already made several videos about what NLP is, so if you want more of an explanation other than just this video, go ahead and search my channel. You'll find several more and I'll link some to a playlist in this video. So the point of this video is not to repeat myself. The point of this video is to give you a new and fresh understanding. So again, if you feel like you already know or really have a solid understanding of NLP, this video should still help you. Also, I'm curious about you. How well do you feel like your understanding of NLP is? If you feel like you have a very solid understanding or if you, feel, you don't feel like you have much of an understanding of it at all, let me know in the comments below. I think the most important understanding, not just about NLP, is about your life. And in NLP, that's what we're focused on, is your experience of your life. So the most important understanding is understanding that your life is subjective. Now, what do I mean by that? It means that there's no way that you could possibly know objective reality, that everything that you're experiencing is, a, is subjective. And that word itself, experience, is, it means that you're, it is subjective because your experience is your experience and then everyone else's experiences are their experience. But you can't experience something without it being an experience. So <laughs> just kind of, goes in a loop on top of itself over and over that what you're experiencing is an experience. Now in NLP, they say that NLP is a study of the structure of subjective experience. And later in a book, John Grinder said, well, you know, we could have left out the subjective because experience is subjective. There is no such thing as having an objective experience. We can study things like we do in science, and we can try it as much as possible to find some sort of objective truth about what it is that we're studying. But we can never, ever get beyond the fact that even the interpretation of that objective information or that objective truth has to pass through our subjective, subjective senses and our subjective filters, like our beliefs and our thoughts about what it is that we're interpreting. So this is how it is possible that two people or more can look at the same set of facts, but create totally different interpretations of it, totally different meanings of it, or draw different conclusions, or, and even make different categories for it. And understanding this, that your life is a subjective experience, that opens many, many doors and many, many opportunities to create the life experience that you want to have. And that's what NLP is really all about. And how we do that is through modeling. So if someone is having a, an experience of life that you want, say that they're happy, they're successful, they're doing things that, that you want to be doing, well, with NLP is we go to the structure of this. We don't go to that person and say, how exactly are you so happy? How exactly are you successful? Not that we wouldn't answer, ask that question, but that's not, we're not looking for the content because if you went and asked, say Einstein, if he were still alive, how did you become so smart? 
Well, he could probably tell you how he thinks he became so smart, but he wouldn't actually know. There's not a way that you can actually know a lot of the things that you are able to do well or even the things that you're not able to do well. They sort of just happened. And then in retrospect, we can go back and say, well, I think this is why or this, you know, this happened. But what we do in NLP is we go to the structure. We go to, well, what's actually happening? What is the sensory input that you're getting? And how is that sensory input categorized? How, do, how is that sensory input selected? Or how is it interpreted? That's how we're looking at the world and how we're looking at a person's experience is what is that structure that creates that? And it can only be based in sensory-based experience because... We're not going into the content, the why, the, the, the reasons we think uh, that these things have occurred. We're going to the structure of them. So to summarize this first understanding, just know that your experience of your life is subjective. The good part about that is that your life is not unchanging. You can change your life by understanding how you're structuring it internally, which is mostly unconscious. So when you really understand that your life, your experience of your life and you are all in a subjective experience, then just from that understanding alone, you become more flexible, you become more malleable. Now all you need to learn is how this structure works. There are many parts to the structure. And again, all of this that I'm talking about, all of these points that I'm talking about can be expanded into entire trainings on their own. Uh, but we're going to we're going to keep to the larger chunks, the broader strokes. And that's why I want to talk about beliefs. Beliefs are the most powerful filters that you have in your life, because what you believe then tends to create your life experience. And what you believe about yourself is has the greatest effect on what creates your reality. So what I'm pointing at is your sense of self, your self concept. Now you can have beliefs about the world and the limitation, you can have limiting beliefs about the world and yes, that will affect you. But your limiting beliefs or your empowering beliefs about yourself are going to have the greatest effect on your entire life. With NLP, we learn how we create these structures that we call beliefs. We often refer to them in NLP as generalizations. So when you understand how you create generalizations, it's especially the ones you make about yourself, then you can change it. So yes, you can literally change yourself in moments by understanding how you create the beliefs you have about yourself and changing them. So of course, we want to take limiting beliefs and change them into empowering beliefs, especially at the direction of what it is that we desire or whatever it is that we uh, envision about what we want our life to be like. So when you understand all of this, which is a lot here, what I'm talking about is eliciting your values around what you want, and then it's understanding what do you believe about that, but more importantly, what do you believe about yourself? Because what you believe about yourself, like I said, has the greatest effect on what you experience in your reality. So understand that, and then your life can really change when you start changing these beliefs. So to summarize, what NLP actually is, it's about learning that structure of your experience, that subjective structure. And we do that through language. We do that through the five senses. And we do that through understanding the beliefs that we create about ourselves and about the world, which we also call generalizations. And all of this is what, what we're discovering is how we internally represent reality. Because your sense of reality, like I said earlier in the video, is not based on objectivity. It's based on you taking all of this information that's coming in from around you through your five senses and internally representing it. And how that process happens, that's the structure that I'm talking about. And yes, through learning NLP, you absolutely can understand how that structure is created and you can change it. One of the things that I like about NLP the most is that it's not a dogma. It's not, a, it's not there to tell you how to live your life or what's the right way to do things. All it's there to do is to help you understand how you're creating your life experience, understand that structure so then you can change it at will and ultimately create the experiences of, in life that you want to experience. And I'll go even further than that to create the overall life experience you want to experience, which is 
how do I want to experience myself? And how do I want to experience the world around me? And it's a beautiful process because it never quite ends. The more you learn, the more you change things, the more you improve your life, the more potential you see to do that. And NLP has the, the tools work consistently no matter where you are in your life, no matter how down you are or how successful you are. NLP tools continue to work, and I've been doing this for several years now, so I'm a, a prime example, but I'm not the only one. There are several people uh, in this world who just continue to use NLP tools to improve their lives, the experience of life that you want to live. So now you know some basic understandings of NLP, but what you don't know is how to directly apply it in your life. I was talking in very broad strokes and and generalizations. So if you want to go deeper with this, I've created a four-part video series where I go more in depth about direct applications using NLP. And you can get this free training by going to the description right down below. You'll see a link. You can click on that link. And then also I put a link in the uh, comments section uh, right down there is the pinned comment. So just click on that link and you'll get immediate access to the first video and then it'll be followed by a video every single day for the next few days. So what are you going to do now with these understandings? These understandings are rather universal and you can just go deeper and deeper with them. And again, they are basic understandings, but like I said, you, there is no end to the depths of going into this. You can continue to explore your life and yourself throughout your entire life and in the process improve it every step of the way. So what are you going to do now? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, make sure you click the like button right down here. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and click the bell so that you'll be notified when new videos come out. And if you know of a person, a friend, who you think would enjoy this video, make sure you share it with them. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.